Now we are starting the keystone. Uh, in the installation of keystone script only, we have kept the rapid MQ. The rapid MQ is the queuing protocol which will be queuing all the services and it will be taking the authentication of the queuing process. So now we are installing the rapid MQ. The rapid MQ is also installing the mem cache which will cache all the mem and it will be working over here. Now the rapid uh, MQ is, uh, installation is completed. Now we are uh, installing the We are uh, installing the keystone. Uh, now the key installation of keystone is completed. Just uh, we, we now uh, we are configuring the keystone token. This token is used uh, for the authentication between the services and the servers. So this can be anything uh, which, as per your uh, idea, you can give any name over here as a token. So here we are using Cloud HID as a token. And next, it is prompting for the email. Here, the email which we are giving uh, is support at the red cloudhyd.com. Now, just I press enter, the installation is going on, the installation is completed. So, at the time of installation of the password, okay, we have given the password as a password. So, hence, the same password is carried forward over here. And now we can check the instance by typing keystone space user hyphen list. So it will show the users which we have created like Nova, Glance uh, and Keystone. Okay, these are the three users which are created. The installation of Keystone is completed. Now we are installing Glance. Glance is an is a image service where uh, the Glance images or the virtual images or we can talk it as a virtual instance images okay which are pre-installed images of the OS this can be installed uh, the combination of image and the hardware we call it as a catalog and we call this as a catalog we require the OS where the images will be of different OS cent OS, Ceras or whatever you want so this will be installed with the help of Glance now we are installing the Glance just type cloudhyd underscore glance.sh press enter now the installation is completed and the glance we have to upload an image and by default we kept serious image in the script hence it is downloading the same image which is a tiny image of 23 MB and that also updated to the glance to check the glance just type glance space index it will prompt the uh, image which you have uploaded the same service image which right now uh, you have uploaded the same is seen over here and now the glance installation is completed now uh, we are going to install nova the nova configuration and the nova components which we are using over here is the nova volumes the nova compute the nova network the Nova object store, all the Nova components we are going to install. Okay, in the starting, we we just uh, went to a understanding that we require a separate partition for it. So now, before creating the Nova services, we are creating a partition. We are having either you can go to a partition or a new hard disk. Here, I am having one more hard disk, uh, which is called as a VDB. So now, just when I type F disk hyphen l space slash dev slash vdb now it is showing 1 gb of hard disk it is a new hard disk so i am typing f disk slash dev slash vdb now just like pressed on p i got print uh, now i am creating a new partition i am pressing n to create new partition it is asking whether it is a primary or extended it is a single partition so i am taking primary as the partition now it is asking which default uh, it is showing as a one partition. This is the first partition, so I am just I'm pressing enter. It is asking for the starting step sector. I am pressing enter again. And as it is only one GB, it is asking for the last segment sector. I am pressing enter. Now the partition is completed. Here we have to create the LVMs. So for the LVMs, we have to install apt-get install lvms lvm2 
Okay, NVM2 is the package or on some uh, operating systems if you want to install you can install LVM. Okay, now the LVM is uh, installed. Okay, now the partition is completed, installation of LVM is completed. Now configuring the hard disk to the LVM. So before con uh, converting the hard disk into the LVM, we have to create PV create and give the hard disk partition. And we have created one partition, it is VDB1. So PV create space slash DEV slash VDB1. Just press center, it is showing as uh, PV created successfully. Now we have to create the volume. So here we can replace the Nova volume with the Finder volume also. But here we are creating as a Nova volume. Hence the volume name should be Nova hyphen volumes. So here we are creating the volume group with the name VG create, VG create slash sorry, VG create space Nova hyphen volumes space the hard disk. That is slash DEV slash VDB1. Press enter. Now the volume is created successfully. So now we have created the volume and we are installing the Nova. So just type cloud hyd underscore nova dot sh press enter the nova is installing now it is prompting for the ip the primary ip so here we have to be very careful the primary ip is the ip where it is called as a controller ip now as we are using the same machine as a controller computing node everything we are using the same ip as a controller so the same i am giving same ip now it is prompting for the fixed network. The fixed network or the network which we are going to give right now is a network where all the instances after making this up, after the open stack is up, we are going to create the virtual machines. So the IP of the virtual machine, these are the IPs which will be given to the virtual machines. So I am giving same 192.168.0.1 by 24. Now it is prompted for the first IP. Yeah, it will be 192.168.0.1. Now it is prompting for the internet IP. Okay, this internet IP, the internet IPs are the IPs which will be configured between the virtual machines and the public users. For example, if you have created an instance with Apache and this Apache is to be accessed by all the users okay, uh, to access by all the users now this service and this IP should be published publicly so all the VMs are on the local LAN now these are the IPs which will be given as a public or we can call it as a public IP so I am giving the IP that is total range 192.168.122.0.1 32 by 27 where I will be getting 32 IPs. So these IPs will be used for my provisioning. So now the installation is completed. You can see the same thing by using Nova space list. I am not getting anything. It is the blank. Because no VM is running. No VM is running. Hence it is showing as a blank. Now I want to test. So I am giving Nova space image hyphen list. Now this is the same image which we have uploaded from Glance. Now the total Nova installation is completed. Now we are installing the GUI. The GUI is also called as a dashboard and this dashboard the module we call it as a Horizon. So just we are installing the horizon over here. I cloud hyd underscore horizon dot sh. Press enter. The horizon will be installing Apache and horizon dashboard. So the total dashboard is ready. The entire installation is completed. You can access with the same username and password which was given in the DAO uh, with the same uh, compute node IP. And the username will be the admin and the password as a password which we have given earlier.